This something as a small YouTuber, Nigerians don't support each other. So I got a DM the other day, Aki. Ah, you just had your YouTube already, and then you're no longer putting out content and stuff. My darling, it is not easy. In as much as I enjoy making videos and creating content or whatever, I mean, there are hurdles I'm also passing. Like I, I'm jumping on. I don't know. Or well, English should not just permit me to use the right word as it stands right now. Like, and then if I what is even prompting me to make this particular video is is not the questions of why you're no longer making video. It's a question of a YouTuber guy who said smaller YouTubers are lazy. How? See, you might be seeing people are not lazy. Well, maybe some people are lazy, but personally, if you say people are like small YouTubers are lazy, I mean, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Sometimes you have the zeal to make a video to put out a content. Firstly, your environment is not giving you what you're looking for. I mean, you could be making a video from your home and then somebody from another apartment is shouting, and you wouldn't want that in the video. Like you would never want that in the video. Okay, let, that's that's another thing. Let's say you're staying close to the road, whereby you're trying to put up a content like this, and a vehicle is passing, and you're hearing horns, pom, pom, pom. like as if <sighs> you're working in a mechanic workshop. Okay, now you decide to go and do an outside content. <sighs> it's like I think it's tying my neck. You decide to go and do an outside content like i saw a smaller youtuber who went to shop right to put up a content and security was just chasing her up and down up and down it's not easy it is actually not easy man it's not easy when you i see i did not used to understand i did not gang 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 but some things are faced recently and made me to understand that ah, ah this thing is see this is a whole lot of hustle it's a hustle in as much as you want to put youtube or say uh, um, a personal business or a business you work with somebody or you're taking it very very serious man there are certain things that will still drag you back those things will drag you back whether you like it or not they will definitely drag you back they will drag you back uh-huh so i that youtuber guy that said it, smaller youtubers are, are are lazy and stuff and i feel like blowing your head because you don't know what others are passing through i think we are not lazy seriously i think smaller youtubers are not lazy some of them are passing through a whole lot of stuff like making out videos probably you see i there's no youtuber guy that will lie to you or that will tell me anything that i'll i'll, I'll, I'll just digest it right now it's probably the big youtuber guy that hey this is consistency that put us there lies all lies all lies some of them actually um okay content creating generally is it's not an easy tax honestly it's not easy I mean for some people it goes well for some people it doesn't go well i mean you can't kill yourself for that yeah but personally i think you shouldn't call anybody lazy if it is working out for you fine if it is not working out for you i mean it's still fine you are trying in your own way you can't be calling another person lazy just because you succeeded and you feel oh another person did not succeed mm -mm. some of them have to deal with the environment maybe they are in an environment where they can't make video when they want to make video and you're calling out lazy some of them have to like fight to stay in a place where they can actually put up some of them have mad ideas but because they don't have the right facilities to like to put up this content you're saying ah they are lazy ah no 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 they are not lazy trust me if you have to collaborate with see if you if you meet i've met two to three small youtuber guys some of them are complaining about power supply and some of them are complaining about noise in the environment i mean there's one i know who stays close to the main road whereby um while you're trying to talk on your camera and that's when the vehicle is passing with a lot of sound like i see they are about to jam each other and stuff i mean you can't as a creator you know see you will not be motivated there will be no motivation how are you going to create content in that kind of environment it's quite draining it's actually draining and then there's a youtuber girl that put up a video one time of her experience in shop right she actually wanted to make this outdoor video of interviewing people about love and stuff i don't know then everybody was like after setting up a camera everybody just come have you have you gotten permission to do this have you done this to do that did, 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 did. like personally i would never go outside i would see i don't know i don't know i might never go outside again to try that shit because i cannot be going with those 
things and then try to set up my camera and try to test everything and then you just come and ask me hey did you ask anybody for permission i mean you exhaust my whole day and time staying there i mean i will not even want to, i the energy is gone it's gone it's gone so imagine you're passing through that kind of a thing and then you don't even have the zeal again to put up another or you don't have, maybe you have that energy of i want to put up this particular content and then you get on getting there somebody has killed that joy tell me how you go back home and just start telling stories creators are not lazy and then these big youtuber guys will never tell you something there are certain things they don't tell you and this one youtuber if you're struggling now shout out to you trust me someday you will definitely make it down there i know a youtuber guy that actually helped me and showed me some resources and things that made me i got a hundred follower when i wasn't even up to two weeks my channel was not up to two weeks i got a hundred follower and since then i have not had the energy and zeal to put up stuff because every content i want to create i don't have the right environment for it every content i have in my head as in madman content my environment is not conducive for you and then i noticed something as a small youtuber nigerians don't support each other uh -uh. i had I, I know a youtuber friend of mine that was struggling for years to get just a thousand subscribers one thousand subscribers is a whole lot yeah but at the same time it's not a lot she had to struggle struggle but when she moved to canada it took her just two weeks two weeks to get three thousand subscribers like i was like so if you don't like Nigerian content, you like abroad content, and then you will not support us to try. So it's actually not a small YouTuber's fault, seriously. It's not our fault. See, I'm sending out love and light to every small YouTuber out there. Honestly, don't stop trying. Do not stop trying. Do not stop trying. Do not stop trying. You're doing the very best. And someday, your channel will get to cross that bridge. Just, yeah, just one day. One, maybe one video will just send you there just keep doing something and hey i i got to figure out something actually if you are starting a youtube channel and then you don't know the right niche to pick up to see don't 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 tie yourself down in one niche do not tie yourself down in one niche honestly except you already um maybe or you're talking about it like you have something you want to you have something you want to just talk about and you have done a lot of research and you know that it's going to sell then you can stick to it but if you have not done a research and you're just trying a channel probably you want to um or you have passion for cooking probably makeup um fashion travel i mean i, I would advise you create content on the four four create it fucking create it create it then keep putting them out watch out for the ones that are more interaction and then probably start growing in that axis very small youtuber out there don't stop doing what you're doing don't let anybody intimidate you don't let anybody talk you out you're actually doing great you're a youtuber and you feel you want to collaborate and then this has no problem please i'm open to collaboration i'm ready to collaborate with anybody small or big i might not have the resources to travel or i might not have the energy to travel because I am a very lazy traveler. Like I love to travel, but I'm very lazy when it comes to planning to travel. But if you think you can come over to my state, I mean, you is a very beautiful place. Please do well to hit me up in my DM. Send me a DM on, on IG. I am always available to reply, and then we plan this shit out. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.